Hello everyone, I'm Jamie Price. Happy February. Already this year feels so fast paced and now we're in the shortest month of the year which always feels fast to me. And this year is a leap year. 2020 is the year of following your heart according to Ariane, the Lyran Council of Time that I channel. And we are building on January's energies of connections. And I also mentioned that there's quite a bit of mental focus during the first part of the year. So you might be noticing more aha moments, more awareness or understanding. Maybe you're having a lot of inspiration or ideas. And with the amplified focus on following your heart, it's really important to keep paying attention to your heart-mind balance or not letting your fearful ego lead, but allowing the heart to lead you, which ultimately just means a more balanced ego that feels safe enough to follow your heart. Now, if you want a lot more information on following the heart, I recommend that you watch the 2020 energies video that I did. There's also a really great free exercise that you can download with that. We'll put a link in the description below. But safety was a really big one in January, especially with that eclipse in Cancer. And I don't know about your experience of that, but mine, I felt like that eclipse was so smooth. I was actually surprised. And then a couple days later, all the processing started happening. But that is perfect because creating that safety and nurturing in your environment, it's so important. And that's what that cancer energy is all about. Safety is imperative for connection because without it, there's suppression or you've got a weak bond of fear that's creating the illusion of strength and that illusion can crumble easily. Now, February's energy is going to build on connections. And I was shown this month's focus as clarity. Now, it's easy to maybe perceive that as just a mental energy. And of course, that's important. Our mind is valuable. It gives your infinite heart a path of creation in the linear realm. But clarity also means resolve, direction, focus. It's the shift in your energetic information that occurs before manifestation. And this is the important inner work that's the core of ascension. Because when you shift within, everything around you affects you less because you're not as pushed and pulled by duality, the things that are going on outside of you. And you also affect everything more potently because your powerful energetic coherence between the heart and mind, you're utilizing your two strongest electromagnetic flow and that information then has more power to flow into your life because your heart and mind are working together. When you're clearer, you have that clarity that's when you can flow your desires into your life more easily. And of course, to get that clarity, sometimes you have to release discord. You have to let go of the things that are no longer serving you, like resentments or anger or fears. You have to strengthen and build your patience, your neutrality, so that you can deal with whatever's current in your moment. And maybe it's something challenging, like staying in a job that's not ideal for you. But when you have clarity, you can stay there until you're getting those clear signals that it's time to leave or it's time to start leaving. So 
when you have that empowerment, you can juice that experience, that present moment for all of the learning or the growing or the strengthening, the new opportunities that life wants that present moment to offer to you. Now, part of your path of clarity is honoring your clair senses, your intuition. Clair means clear. And your clair senses are offering you fuller information. And this is one of the ways that your higher self, your guides, life communicates to you. You're sensing the information beyond the obvious physical senses. And it takes some practice to recognize them, to trust them when you don't necessarily have all of the information. Clarity does not mean that you know everything. It, it doesn't mean that you have no doubt. It means you have a deep knowing of your inherent deserving and your capability to create your strengths, your neutrality to be able to experience the positives and the negatives of this realm and still sustain your focus, your direction. This is why Ariane reminds us constantly, we don't just hear something or see something, we interact with it. We receive it into our sacred space. So paying attention to what you're receiving into your sacred space is going to be important. And some of that is out of your control, like what the people around you are doing. Some of it is within your control, like some of the people that you're choosing to expose yourself to or some of the information you're exposing yourself to. But what you do with that information, once you've received it within you, that's where your clarity is important. That's when your belief systems, your desires, your truths, that's when they are interacting with that information and either you are reshaping the information you've taken in or it's reshaping you. And when you know that love, connection, improvement is the natural flow of life, all is well. Even if a moment is challenging, you have that powerful clarity of love flowing into your life. And like I was talking about this in a recent newsletter around future creating. You know, do you have the clarity to know what future you're creating, even if you don't have all the details? Are the chaos creators stealing your power? Or are they strengthening your resolve, your clarity to create the future that you want to experience? You were born deserving a loving life. And you teach that to others. You teach them that it's possible by creating that in your own life. And that's that 99% invisible aspect that is constantly creating and communicating into this world. And that's impacting not only everyone that you come into contact with, but the entire information that surrounds us here on earth, that field of information. And when you have clarity, that information is rippling out into that field and the energetic coherence that you have is what creates that strength of that flow. January energies of connection will continue to help you to connect the dots of things that weren't quite clear before. And when you can let that be a fun puzzle as all of that information emerges and, and you're reshaping it within you, that's when you are using your power of love. And your connection with life clarifies your inner knowing, your inner resolve, your power to create your path of love in this world. 
clarity leads you on the path of following your heart. In February, yay, I'll be teaching light language here in Sedona. So exciting to see how much it's growing. I will, of course, be doing a Lyran Perspective Teleclass. And last month, Ariane talked about connecting with the self with more love, more nurturance, and ultimately becoming more self-conscious, but in the positive sense, so that you're adept at reading your moment, readjusting your energy so that you're shaping whatever you're receiving from the external, and focusing on creating your life, which is where your power is, and then letting that information circulate out into life because that's when life responds to you. I remember when I started doing a lot of healing on myself so many years ago, and it was kind of shocking to me at first how people would react differently to me, my parents, people that I knew for a long time. And I learned, of course, that it's because I was changing and they were responding to me differently. So when you understand the mechanism of connection, that's when your clarity starts to boost your alignment and then synchronicities are occurring more often, less effort, more love. That's when things really get good. I will also be doing a monthly energies teleclass. Of course, that is focused on amplifying your clarity. And again, building on January's energies, there was an exercise in last month's teleclass that was looking at, do I want to connect or reject? And that's always an energetic choice. And that occurs within you. And that's when you shift your subtle information. That clarity is important because when you know your intent, when you're willing to observe yourself, your, your strengths, your weaknesses, your interactions, then you can connect in ways that are serving the highest good of all involved. Now, let's talk about the light language. This was really exciting because it brought together a vision that I was shown for, for February. So. What I was shown was the cheeks gently melting and melting down into the throat. And then I saw the third eye light up really brightly and I heard a tone that began connecting the throat and the third eye, like a, a gentle melting into each other. Now, the transmission also had a lot of movement in the head and the heart, a little bit of clearing in the second chakra. But what stood out the most was a merging of the higher self and the human self. In essence, we are anchoring the clarity of our divinity. And this is the path of ascension. You're merging your human self and your higher self integrating a more conscious connection with the subtle realm. And this month also, the energies of ancient Egypt were also really prevalent. And it's possible that that may not apply directly to you because your higher self is utilizing the nonlinear information in the light language in the way that's perfect for you. But related to that Egyptian energy, I was sensing the Ka merging into more accessibility, less perceived separation, kind of like Gabriel's horn of January, where your infinite nature is merging with the finite. And there was a lot of shifting in the throat and the mouth, and I was shown the opening of the mouth. You might be familiar with that from the connection that it has with Egyptian embalming. What I associate that with is the bridge of the subtle and the dense meeting, the connection, the infinite touching the finite. And when your subtle energy is clear, your thoughts and your emotions, your subtle bridge, 
that's when your creative ability is enhanced. So in February, some focus on what creative clarity are you focusing on in your life? When I sat and thought about this, I want to focus on more patience. This is what was upside down in the 2020 energies reading, more neutrality so that the positives and the negatives are able to connect more easily, more open to information. So leave a comment below and let me know what creative clarity you are gonna be focusing on for, for February. When you use that throat chakra energy, putting it out into the world, that helps you anchor it. And then the information flow of the actions to take, the things to let go of, the things to focus on, that becomes more available to you because you're starting that process. I hope you have an amazing February and enjoy the light language. Has so shand orma, dear ut oqua eat. Tanonj sant uramek, cocoam, hem, aqua, at diarustal lim suk nur mit. Chandit sit it urat e kir hat. Huanan sam chant uramek tart il lem quarat. Danis shum sung quarat daru orum. Hamjora, caca, huerta, caca, tum, chenny. Hem so Jan tot erum ke and dat e hin cook pand it uam. Hanot san chant adatama carret erlel im, man sudestarot quarret, kairet in, san charret, quorum. Hus shai eat durum, ka hindet tum ertut, gyrot sol elem stenen, nim quarret. Jarat ktairo urma sten sud nink taro hurumat ilil njon saramasterut num hetsu kuretit irustol lal sum stand ktero urme kura sum standut urma Anto. Som stand ut ur me, kom me et sur enik lal it suri stero nu kvar me den ur me kia kvar me ka. Sam surum tero to kvaratat en sen en sur enik naratat lel him sur me men ur tem kvaratat it sushat et num me an orata had et sukom et kvaratat em. Qua and chond soroma kerat ua here to do suko sham. Guarata Domas stone darat and darat ik mashtairun chem tsukret tear hor nut il lom sterum son jorna. Qua Domemert or at sun store. You could eat so shun sud, but ktairot num sester nut, al ilok mar it sure me 